Hello kids, Steve come back at you for a pretty spectacular mail day. Got one from Diamond Princess, got one from Walkin 99, got two different ones from eBay, and we're going to look at all of them together. We will start out with Diamond Princess. And for anyone wanting to partake, there's my mailing address in case you would like shout outs and just to get rid of some of your stuff because I collect about anything and everything is always, always appreciated. Nothing is ever expected. So let's see here. Now I do know I want a free giveaway on Diamond Princess that I wasn't even expecting her to do. So that's cool. Oh, look, we got our lovely, lovely handwriting in a handwritten note. It says, hello, Steve. Thank you so much for your interaction in the live streams. You are incredible, and your support means so very much to me. Well, you're welcome, Diamond Princess. I love your streams. I love your channel. I love giving back as opposed to buying stuff myself. I do absolutely love giving back to the card community. Congratulations on your giveaway win. Good luck when you open your pack. I hope you pull some amazing cards. Well, if it came from you and I've seen what you opened, Diamond Princess, yeah, there will be fire in here. And Diamond Princess. There it is, a Top Series 2 fat pack. Now that's cool. First one of those I've had. So we will save that for now. I will do probably a little uh, three-pack battle sometime in the future that are going to highlight Diamond Princess's pack she sent me. I have a fat pack, I believe, of Heritage over here. Got some other baseball packs, so that's cool. Now, let's get into Lockin 99 was not even expecting anything until I got the email that says you have a package coming from Lawrence, Kansas. That's right, Lawrence, Kansas. The place where he could have actually gotten his car, driven it here, and back home days before it got here. Yeah, he lives that close to me. So let's see what I got from our good buddy Walker. Oh, that's cool. Wow, another fat pack to open up. <laughs> Look at that. A Donruss Racing 30 card 2022 fat pack with one exclusive Carolina Blue Optic Parallel. I have not even seen these in the wild. Now that's cool. That I cannot wait to open. Thank you. Thank you, Lockin. And we've got a team bag just chock full of stuff. He always sends some of the coolest stuff, like this Yogi Berra stamp. For anyone who didn't know, there's my birthday twin. Good old Yogi Berra. That's right, May the 12th. I do collect as much of his stuff as I can. I have relics and numbered cards. No, I don't have a relic. That's right, just numbered cards and other stuff. But I do love Yogi Bear. Let's see what else we might have procured from... Okay. Ah, oh, cool. I used to play Magic. <laughs> and being from Wisconsin, I have the Cheese Stands Alone. That's awesome. That's funny. To read it, it says, If you control no cards in play other than the Cheese Stands Alone... You have, and have no cards in your hand, you win. The meat, on the other hand, has frequent visitors. That's cool. That is really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, the cheese stands alone. I like that. Oh, wow. Walking. Seriously. An autographed Carmella. WWE Prism. Look at that thing, Sparkle. Look at that beauty autograph. It is not numbered. It is from Panini, and it is cool. We'll put that right next to the cheese. They kind of go together. 
Oh, wow. I've wanted this one for a long time. That's baller. I got a Tops from nine or shoot from 2017 series one first pitch of the boston red sox sorry bud stoney not in your stack we have the shatner william shatner that's super cool and guys if you didn't know it he has an album out there where he does songs such as bohemian rhapsody among a lot of others, Rocket Man. Look it up on YouTube. It's hilarious. It's better than the ones done by Richard Cheese. That's right, Dick Cheese. Oh, this is cool. What year is this? 2021 Panini, card number one, and it's all sorts of sparkly. It looks like a green variant on top of it. Look at that Aaron Rodgers. Go Pack Go! Nice! Speaking of football, anyone watch that debacle last night they called a football game? Um, the Lowly Bears lost to the Lowly Commanders. So one of them, I guess, you can call a winner for a week? I don't know. And in baseball today, the Yankees lost. The Yankees lost. Do my happy dance. All right, back to business here. We have a select Christian Yelich and Josh Hader from Lock In. Ooh, to go along with a nice Keston Hira. Man, those are so hard to see and read. That would be Christian Yelich also. That's, oh, the nice wavy Josh Hader. Oh, look at that. The Royals. We got Homer Bailey. Very cool on the tops, Rainbow. That's a nice chrome card. Oh, a Bobby Witt Jr. 3D. Wow. Walking. Holy cow, my friend. Oh, look at that beautiful pinstripe of Yelich on the Jersey Kings. That's cool. Wow. Very nice. Did not have that. That is awesome. Cover up the Magic 8 Ball with Yelly. Okay, here's some older school Royals. We have Brian Meadows. We have Mike Sweeney. That's cool. Chris George. I could swear he was a brewer at one point as well. And... He must have been a brewer after this because this is his rookie card. That's cool. I have to do some research there. We have Carlos Feebles or Febles or Febles. Joe Randa. That's pretty cool. Carlos Beltran. Nice. Wonder if he'll make the haul now that he was in the trash can scandal. Oh, an Aaron Ashby rookie card from Select. Nice. I'm collecting as many Ashby rookies as I can. And, oh, a Jake Cousins rookie card. Very cool. Holy cow, Lockin. Once again, outdid yourself, my friend. Thank you so, so much. Let's clean up the table here just a skosh so I can pull up the next package. If this is what I think it is from Feebay. One of these will be open tomorrow for Saturday morning cartoons, I think. I, well, maybe not. I do know I opened up one last week, and then I fell in love with them all over again, so I had to buy more, even though I have several left. Before they become popular and go up, we will buy more of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's very cool. Get those out here. Yada, yada, yada. There they are. We did get five more packs of those. So that's cool. If you remember, I got a Loretta Swit error card last week. It said MASH started in 1962 when in actuality 
It started in 1972 when I was one. And finally, we got our last thing here from eBay. It's a large one. <laughs> Just because I had so much fun sending these boxes out last time. Myself partaking and others partaking. Had to buy more because I found them with shipping about $5 a blaster. We're going to do the search for booger butt. Not even an insert to base card, but it's just a fun name to say. Yes, they have bull riding cards of the rodeo clowns, the actual bull riders, and the bulls. And one of the bulls' names is Booger Butt. There's one. There's two. There's three. And that's right. We got four. It was about 20 bucks, so that's not bad. A lot of us have pulled out autographs. Uh, who was it? Was it Jimmy or was it the Beast? Pulled out an autograph of, oh no, I think it was another house bill. Pulled out an autograph of a Rodeo Clown, which was right before, because these are from, I believe, 2008. Let me check here. But the card in the uh, auto was right before he actually got face smashed by a bull. Yep, 2008. By a bull. <laughs> Completely destroyed his head. He's alive. He's still kicking, but not the same person, obviously. But they got his auto. The beast pulled out a relic. They have relics in these things, too. It's an expensive one, one of the big name writers from the time. Then he sold that for 30 bucks, which was a steal to the goat that got it. Mr. BJ Top Loaded. So, guys, I decided to get us all some more. We're going to try it again. Because no one got Booger Book. <laughs> so, oh, and you can see, they were originally they were selling them for nine ninety eight plus tax. So that's not bad. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know I did. I will be back in the morning, as promised, with Saturday morning cartoons. And on Sunday, tune in for Sunday shoutouts with Steve. Hey, guys, go watch your favorite live streams tonight, whether it's Diamond Princess, Chomps Live Breaks, my post over at Ripping for Rookies will have one. I do believe Rad Dad and Where's B-Dog will be having a sale this weekend. I believe Sunday he's going to shoot for, you know, permitting, you know, kids and everything, which is fine. We get it. Everyone needs their time. But yeah, find your channel. Tune in. We'll see you there. As always, be excellent to each other. Treat others the way you want to be treated. You know what? We're going to do a search for Booger Butt soon. And peace.